Another day, another lawsuit for Kanye West. It seems that in recent years, Kanye has been making headlines less for his music and more for his controversial behavior and legal battles. This time, however, the situation has taken an even darker turn as both Kanye and his wife Bianca Sensori have been implicated in a lawsuit that accuses the Yeezy brand of mistreatment, financial disputes, and inappropriate behavior toward employees, including minors. The lawsuit, which was filed in California's Central Court in late June 2024, involves eight former Yeezy employees. employees. These employees allege that they were subjected to abusive working conditions, including long hours without pay, they claim that Kanye himself referred to them as slaves, further intensifying the toxic work environment at Yeezy. But what's even more troubling is the accusation that Bianca Sensory sent inappropriate content to minors working at the company, one of whom was just 14 years old. As news of the lawsuit broke, social media users were quick to express their outrage, directing their criticism at both Kanye and Bianca. Many have been shocked by the allegations, questioning how such a prominent figure in the entertainment industry could allow such behavior to occur under his watch. Kim Kardashian, Kanye's ex-wife, is also reportedly involved as sources suggest that she is taking steps to expose Kanye and Bianca for their actions. But what exactly did Bianca send to these minors, and how deep does the toxic culture at Yeezy go? Even more pressing, what did Kim Kardashian have to say about this situation? In this video, we'll explore all the details surrounding the lawsuit, the disturbing claims, and the fallout. Be sure to stay tuned until the end for every juicy detail, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another piece of celebrity drama. In March 2024, developers began working on a new Yeezy project. For many, this seemed like a dream opportunity to work directly with Kanye West, one of the most influential artists in the world. But behind the scenes, things were not as glamorous as they appeared. According to court documents obtained by Us Weekly, the lawsuit accuses Kanye, Bianca, and former Yeezy staff head Milo Yiannopoulos of fostering a hostile work environment and failing to compensate employees for their work on Yeezy's new app. Eight former employees, including minors, have come forward with accusations. These employees allege that they were forced to work long hours without being paid and that the work environment was filled with derogatory comments and abusive behavior. According to the lawsuit, Kanye's mistreatment extended to calling employees slaves, but the claims against Bianca Sensory are perhaps even more shocking. The lawsuit alleges that she sent inappropriate videos to minors working for Yeezy videos linked to the brand's adult film division, which was launched in April 2024. Though Bianca is not the main target of the lawsuit, her actions have been described as toxic and contributory to the problematic work culture at Yeezy. Former employees describe her as inconsiderate and unprofessional, and her involvement in sending inappropriate content has only fueled the backlash against her and Kanye. This is not the first time Kanye West's company has faced legal issues. In June 2024, a former employee named Lauren Pisciotta accused Kanye of harassment, breach of contract, and wrongful termination. These allegations, combined with the current lawsuit, paint a picture of a company plagued by dysfunction and mistreatment. For years, many speculated that Bianca was simply a quiet follower of Kanye, someone who stood by his side without making waves. However, the revelations from this lawsuit have shattered that image, suggesting that she is just as involved in the toxic dynamics at Yeezy as Kanye himself. According to court documents obtained by TMZ, the videos Bianca allegedly sent were accessible to minors working on the Yeezy app, raising serious concerns about the lack of safeguards to protect young employees. This situation brings to mind other high-profile cases of inappropriate behavior in the entertainment industry. One such case is that of Drake Bell, the former Nickelodeon star, who pleaded guilty in 2021 to charges of attempted child endangerment and disseminating material harmful to minors. Bell had inappropriate conversations with a 15-year-old girl and ultimately took responsibility for his actions. But while Bell's case ended with a guilty plea, the question remains what will happen with Kanye and Bianca. The lawsuit against Kanye and Bianca also claims that there were no proper safeguards in place to prevent underage employees from being exposed to the inappropriate content circulating within the company. Many people are outraged, with some even expressing disbelief that such a high-profile company could allow this level of misconduct to occur. For those who once admired Kanye, this situation feels like a betrayal especially considering that Kanye has young daughters himself. Despite the gravity of the allegations, Kanye has yet to make any public statements regarding the lawsuit. 
This silence has only added to the public's frustration, as many expect a figure of his stature to at least address the situation, if not offer an explanation or apology. His former staffer Milo Yiannopoulos, however, has been more vocal, taking to social media to dismiss the lawsuit as a joke and a sad race hustle Milo Yiannopoulos, who served as chief of staff at Yeezy, is no stranger to controversy. His role at the company involved overseeing various aspects of its operations, but he resigned in May 2024 due to tensions over the company's adult film division. Milo has a long history of making offensive and inflammatory remarks, including statements that appear to endorse inappropriate relationships between older men and young boys. He has also downplayed the severity of child abuse scandals within the Catholic Church. When Milo first gained public attention, he claimed to be a member of the LGBTQ community, though he later disavowed this identity and made derogatory comments about the community. His career has been marked by a series of scandals including racist, sexist, and transphobic remarks. Milo was even banned from Twitter for inciting online harassment, though his ban was eventually lifted. Given Milo's controversial history, it's perhaps unsurprising that he has been accused of making racist remarks at Yeezy and calling certain employees new slaves. These allegations, combined with the company's failure to pay employees and the toxic work environment, have only deepened the legal and reputational troubles facing Kanye West and his brand. As the lawsuit against Kanye West, Bianca Sensori, and Yeezy unfolds, the disturbing allegations continue to shock the public, from claims of mistreatment and financial disputes to accusations of inappropriate behavior toward minors, this scandal has cast a dark shadow over Kanye's once celebrated brand, with social media outrage growing and Kim Kardashian reportedly stepping in to expose the truth, it remains to be seen how this case will evolve and what consequences Kanye and Bianca will face. I'll eviscerate the complaint line by line tomorrow on camera including his bonkers racism claims truly it's the most dishonest thing I've ever seen filed with a court and I've worked for billionaires and me stars for a decade. In another tweet he wrote, all I've done since is try to get these app developers paid as voluminous correspondence demonstrates anyone asserting otherwise is uncritically repeating mendacious lies from a lawsuit that takes more imaginative leaps than the Lord of the Rings. This guy is so full of himself, he really thinks people are going to believe everything he says. Everything he does seems to be driven by personal gain. No wonder people call him Kanye's right-hand man. But what does Kanye have to say about all this? In recent months, Kanye has been preoccupied with settling multiple lawsuits, reportedly paying out large sums to his victims. According to an insider source, Kanye is running out of money and has even asked his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, for financial help. It seems he's been mismanaging his funds, squandering money instead of paying his employees while he still could. Rather than prioritizing his workers, Kanye chose to spend on personal expenses, but even then, he's shown poor money management. This whole situation is hurting Kanye's reputation and influence as more and more people are distancing themselves from him. Can you believe someone from the black community making racist comments? People of color are generally known for being more understanding and compassionate in these situations, but Kanye's behavior has made it difficult for his own team to simply do their jobs. The work environment at Yeezy has been labeled toxic for a while now with concerns raised about how employees are being treated. Until recently, no one had accused the company of exploiting minors, but now that children are involved, the situation is getting even messier. If the trial proceeds, it could spell big trouble for both Kanye and Bianca, as the lawsuit includes claims of documented mistreatment. Allegedly, the team had a Discord channel where serious conversations took place, including discussions about employees being mocked and insulted with severe racist remarks. Team members were bullied over their age, race, gender, orientation, and ethnicity. The complaint also alleges that racial slurs were made against black employees, while only white employees were promised developer roles. I'm no lawyer, but after looking into this, it seems like Kanye and Bianca could be in serious legal trouble, facing heavy fines and penalties if found guilty. What's even more surprising is the shift in Bianca's role. People used to think she was just following Kanye's lead, but it turns out she might be more involved in these shady dealings than we thought. The employees behind the lawsuit are seeking compensation for unpaid wages and emotional distress, though no exact amount has been revealed. Meanwhile, sources claim Kim Kardashian is now taking legal action against both Kanye and Bianca. Apparently, Kim's children have grown fond of Kanye and Bianca, especially North, her eldest daughter. This bond threatens Kim, who fears Kanye might seek more custody of the kids. Reports suggest Kim is planning to file a case with Child Protective Services, which could strip Kanye of his parental rights.
She also has evidence that she's been financially supporting Kanye, which could further weaken his case. If Kim succeeds, Kanye would lose all access to his children, no visits, no phone calls, nothing. Fans have also reacted strongly, with many turning their backs on Kanye. On social media, users are calling for proper compensation for the former employees, and they believe Kanye should be held accountable. There's even a growing movement to cancel Kanye. Many are saying he shouldn't be allowed around his children, given the serious allegations against him. For the first time, I find myself siding with Kim. Kanye and Bianca don't seem like suitable role models for their kids, especially North, who clearly has a strong connection with her father. It's always sad when children can't see their parents, but it might be worse for them to be around someone like Kanye right now. What do you think? Are these claims by the former employees true? What's your take on Bianca's real role in all this? And more importantly, is Kim doing the right thing by trying to take Kanye's rights away? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.